So right now I'm feeling just crazy nerves. And if you hear in the background, you got Rump Shaker by I Don't Even Know Who, which was not my tee off song of choice. Uh, originally I wanted Circus or Five, Get Out, and they messed it up. And this right here was kind of the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Foreshadowing, folks. Foreshadowing. <laughs> All right, it's that time to step into the vault. You know who we're bringing in. We let you know that Eagle McMahon will be joining us. And so now, let's see the thin young bird. There he is, Eagle McMahon. Yes. What is up? Oh my How's it gosh. going, guys? Thank you for <laughs> cool. having me. This is awesome. <laughs> where, Welcome, man. Are you, where are, are you? Are you in a dream right now? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. They asked me... So they they asked me if I wanted to uh, blur behind me, and I said yes. Thank you, Skype. <laughs> I wish they would ask me. Yeah, I know. I, they've never they've never asked. How me much that. did you have to pay for the blur feature, the upgrade? I don't know, man. I think it's just a <laughs> it's a disc mania hookup on Skype. What brand of Sweet. what brand of spaceship is that that you're in? Is that one of the Tie Fighters? I th- I don't I don't really know my spaceships, but uh. I, I guess it's a TIE Fighter. It kind of looks like it. The windows <laughs> look... <laughs> TIE like Fighters Star are Trek tiny. That looks like, that looks like, the, like the most spacious... Like, what, what is that? Where are you? What, what, what is going on right now? So I am in Huntsville, Alabama right of now. Of course. Ro- Rocket City. Um, of course. A lot of NASA business going on here. Uh, this house is actually designed by uh, a NASA engineer. It's an Airbnb. I'm here visiting my girlfriend. I've been here for about a week now, just uh, enjoying myself. Social distancing, kind of uh, in the middle of uh, the woods right now, That's and sweet. just having a good time. It's blurred behind me, but you see that I, I got a basket back there. I've been doing some practice putting inside. Uh, I hope the, the people who are running this Airbnb aren't watching, because we definitely have hit the walls a few times, but nothing too bad. <laughs> nothing too bad. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, man. just uh, throwing myself down here. Awesome. Imperial Star Cruiser. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, thank you, Ben, oh, for answer. letting us know what model of spaceship ego is sitting in right now. And he's got an alien last name, so you know it's true. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's got Don't one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh well thanks for joining us eagle as you know we like to bring on guests and and step into the jomez pro vault and uh, this time we are we last week we did a 2015 gpo round two with simon and we kind of sucker german to maybe having to relive not the best <laughs> round but that's just how it happens. Sometimes I just have the footage and I can't help how it plays out. You know, people blame me. They say, oh, you, you love putting people through that. But it's like, usually somebody's playing good. It just so happens that the person on the show is not usually that person. Uh, I, th- I, I think I that. figured it out. I think I figured it out. Because getting filmed back in the day was kind of uncommon. So I think just Jomez was bringing the pressure early on. And this is be- it's kind of before everyone learned to adapt. <laughs> Well, okay. still, somebody plays well. He's just showcasing the person that doesn't. So well, that, that excuse well, would work if everyone's play, you know, went down. But it's usually only the person that he's featuring. But I appreciate the, uh, like the justification four, there. four episodes into the vault, so relax. There's plenty more to go. This one is going to be 2015 GBO final round. And if I recall correctly, this is the first time that I had ever even heard the name Eagle McMahon. There you were. You had just shot... A pretty stellar round because I'm pretty sure it put you like a stroke behind Paul McBeth. This had to have been your first time on on the big stage, right? On the national tour final round lead card. Yep, this is kind of where everything began. Uh, the uh, round before I was chase card, uh, and I think I shot like a 48 or 49 or something at Jones East, Jones East, yeah. and uh, it was like 1071 rating. I I, I tied Paul. It was one stroke. Uh, from him going into the final round and my world wow. was just shaking. It was like yeah. insane to look up to Paul McBad, look up to Dave Felberg, Will Schustrick, and all of a sudden I'm playing on the lead card for the win. I just, I couldn't <laughs> yeah. believe it. It was like all my dreams were coming true. And so at this point, how long had you been playing pro? Like to, to from when you started till, till you made it to this point? 
Oh, gosh. Uh, so this is 2015. I think uh, I've been, I was playing open for f- about four years okay. leading up to this point. So I've had, I had some experience, but everything was all, all local. Yeah. But, but you were only, I mean, even when the Eagle we're about to watch is freshly 17 years old. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just but, yeah, but still, but a seasoned four year veteran. <laughs> Of yeah, the pro, of the wow. pro division. So, I don't know. I mean, you can say you had a lot of experience. Thirteen-year-old experience, it maybe doesn't count quite the same. That's a that's a that's incredible that you were that you were in that spot that young. I still can't believe it. Like just the fact that it was five years ago. It's um, yeah. I mean, I I still feel young now, and I was way younger back then on a <laughs> on the lead card of a NT. So. Just right. mind boggling. Well, let's get into it. Let's uh let's get up into the vault. We're looking at a good battle so far. We kind of got the show down. Yeah, I just came right out and said big sex and commentary. That's what we'll call. And right off the bat, that is a tight grouping at the top. It's like one stroke that separates everyone, I believe. I really do miss it. I think the course is in a better place now. But, man, this is like one of those shots that you are totally looking at and attacking. Right, Eagle? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I This was my favorite variant of hole one at Country Club. I know... Like you're saying, the course flows better now, but this hole was just amazing. So right now I'm feeling just crazy nerves. And if you hear in the background, you got Rump Shaker by I don't even know who, which was not my tee off song of choice. Uh, originally I wanted Circus or Five, Get Out, and they messed it up. And this right here was kind of the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Foreshadowing, folks. Foreshadowing. <laughs> is is Eagle gonna get Ulied? We'll see. Oh my gosh, jump around. Felberg's not jumping much. Unless it's that disc is jumping around. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. What a crush. I mean just out driving Macbeth and Eagle McMahon. Off the bat, pretty sick. Shushrik's a uh, former winner of the GVO. Lion, Ariel King. Oh my gosh. Did that go OB? I couldn't tell. Yeah, me neither. So as you can see, there's a pretty stiff tailwind right now and not, for you. not for me i just remember seeing what happened to paul spot i'm like oh i can definitely throw it high and it's definitely going to drop nope oh man and so it's my, a headwind and it drops yep exactly <laughs> that's a tough starting hole for your first ever national tour tee off and you know i remember meeting you very vividly it was the first time i'd ever seen you throw a shot was at the Memorial 2015, um, right after the playoff that Paul and I had. And I remember this really young, really skinny looking guy that was wearing a hat slightly to the side, kind of like you are now, just ripping bombs backwards on hole 15, just like crushing. Yeah. And, I, and I was just like, I've never seen this kid before. Who is this guy? And then the next thing I know, the next national tour, here you are, last round league card. I'm like, Eagle McMahon? What what is this guy? I, I remember I remember congratulating you after uh, you won Memorial. I was just in there in the crowd. I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. That's the big germ. The big that, germ. Uh, many many years ago. 
Man, I'm getting all kinds of... I saw a super chat for my door collection. This is for my garden. I'm expecting that money, Jomez. <laughs> that says pretty clearly where they want those super chats going. That right there. That's tough to catch up with a guy who's throwing shots like that. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 So, you know what I was thinking? <laughs> Don't After, throw it out of bounds. Like, I was like, this is my chance <laughs> to impress Will Schustrick, this standstill master. I'm going to throw a standstill here for no reason. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, that is a super 17-year-old thing to do. <laughs> That's a solid putt. I'll tell you what. No one has ever played this course without it being at least 18 mile an hour winds, not in tournament play at least. So if you're 25 feet away and you make a putt, good job. Yeah. Yeah. Circle two percentage in Emporia is like six. <laughs> yeah. That is a sick drive from Feldy. Oh, the hat's gone backwards, folks. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm tired of taking bogeys. This is a this is a I, I don't know if you if you've ever been sensitive about your weight, but this is a real question. Has the wind in Emporia ever like moved you in a run up? In a run up? Yeah. Uh, I think it probably has. He's thinking about it. <laughs> He's thinking about it. I don't think I, so. I think, I, I think I, I've usually have pretty good. I, I have pretty good balance, but there it gets pretty gusty out there, and uh, I've definitely I, slipped off a few tee pads here. And there. I don't think you'd be at very high risk. I mean, you're thin anyway. You slice it, and you wear a slim fitting short. I don't think you're going to catch See, a whole lot of drag. You know, you're it, no matter exactly. where that wind tries to hit you, it's just going right around. I cut through the wind really, really nicely, kind of like a knife. You really do. This, what year did what year did you come to Europe with Paul and I? Uh, I believe it was next year, 2016. Okay. No. So I, oh, oh no. Oh. I remember. I wasn't at this tournament, but I remember like seeing the results and going, "Man, look at this kid!" And then, and then I remember getting to go and travel with you over there. It was fun. That was a lot of fun. Those. Those were the days. Yeah, man. I mean, I can only imagine what it must have been like for you. With me and Paul, you must have just been thinking, man, t- two coolest guys I've ever met, and I get to spend all this time with them. Oh, this man. I, it, it really was an amazing time. I mean, I, I, <laughs> Eagle, like, do not I, pay I, him I, off. Do no, not I, pay him no, off right I'm, now. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I mean, Nate's a great guy. Paul's a great guy. Both of them were like mentor, mentors to me and still are. So it was just a, re- a really cool experience. You know, what I'm noticing right now through these holes that we've seen so far, you know, I, I actually kind of thought that as you played um, on tour more and had more experience that your game had changed in the way that you look as far as the way you throw. But I'm see- I mean, yes, it has gotten better and more. Um, uh, I don't know. It's just more efficient. But your your style, the way you putt your forehand. Yeah. Uh, it, it all looks so similar to to the way you play now, and and that's kind of surprising to me because I thought that you had, you know, gotten ten times better. But it, I mean, honestly, it, it looks really similar. And I think the the kind of the narrative out there is sort of like Eagle got this huge forehand recently, but it's it's kind of been there for a while. Yeah, I think I just got a little bit more confident throwing it. Like the one thing to note about me, oh, I'm having a little bit of a meltdown here. This the. Fun fact, this this hole is literally my nemesis. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I, this one. Wow. Yeah, the, the, back then the tee pad was uh, shifted a little bit more to the right, so it kind of opened up uh, the fairway a little bit better. That's that a shot. good sidearm birdie. Man, that, you really are showing off the sidearm distance there. I mean, that's... I, I you know, specifically remember the first time I ever saw you throw a forehand was at Swope Park. And there was this 450 foot hole. It was like uphill a little bit. And I remember that you had the box on me and you threw first. And I remember you like parking this hole. And I thought in practice, I thought I was like, I've tried throwing forehand here. I can't get there. So you made me throw forehand. Cause I was like, I'm not going to let this kid out show me. And I threw it and I remember crushing it and feeling really good about it. And I came up like 40 feet short. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> I, I remember that exact moment. And after it's like, what the heck did you do? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> You don't have a big forehand. Why would you do that? <laughs> I didn't know. I, I learned right there at that moment that indeed you do. So we kind of mm-hmm. got off topic a little bit. That last hole, I just decided to s- sail sail putt like 
like crazy. <laughs> and I've, at least I, I've been redeeming myself well. And the Every crowd is I've, on your side. I mean, they are they are pulling for some Eagle McMahon. For sure. Oh. That was awesome. That was That's what got me hooked here in the crowd. Yeah. It is one of the best parts. This is kind of a whole McMahon showcase, which is pretty cool. Normally, it's kind of a little bit of a mixture of this, a little bit of bad shots from whoever we're showcasing. We're just showing the whole round right now, which is pretty cool. Oh, this, oh, this hole. <laughs> so I, I'm putting for Eagle right here. Oh, on no. On a par five. Mm. Right off the top of Veteran. Uh, oh, did you just fall all the way backwards? Yes. Oh. Ouch. It was it was a really weird feeling because like, of course I wanted to do better and I was a little bit disappointed. But at this point, I I got my goal. I didn't even know what my goal was, but I definitely got it. I was playing on the lead card. I made a name for myself. So just that right there was a huge win. I know after after this event, my life literally changed. Yeah. So it it was re it was really special, even though this isn't <laughs> all that impressive. Oh, it is. It's very impressive. I mean, like we said, you're 17 years old. You played it. You were one stroke back of the the player who went on to win, um, like Beth, obviously. And um, I mean, you you just you're making a a name for yourself. Like, not many people ever get the opportunity to play on a league card at national tour let alone, way more importantly, the last round. And that shows that you were there. It wasn't just an accidental great first round. You played great the whole tournament. And as a 17-year-old who, frankly, at this point, none of us had really heard of outside of Colorado, you just really emerged on the map like immediately. And it just really seemed like you haven't gone away since.